We're on easy street And it feels so sweet Cause the world is but a treat When you're on easy street Welcome to the Easy Street Radio Show Hosted by Rob Scribner Grab a cup of coffee and let's get started Hey, thanks for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. This will help us grow. Also note, buying some of our merchandise or donating to our channel is very helpful also. Thank you for supporting our show. Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Street. Today is episode 28 and today is a public service day i'm here to help you i'm here for you and so i i also wanted to let you know you can find us on good talk radio and uh all kinds of other platforms so uh yeah or in spreaker just check our uh, description below and you can find out all the places easy street plays but today is an special day i went out of my way to help our listeners and our viewers with this a CV illness problem out there and uh, I, I hope you appreciate it so I thought I would go out and do my best to make things available to you and for reasonable fees so today uh, let me get this in the camera right I got some hand sanitizer and yes I know they're rare it's really rare uh, I, I am going to let this go. You can have this sa hand sanitizer. Um, you have to pay for shipping because this stuff costs money. So yeah, you know, add shipping to this too, but I'm letting this go. Are <laughs> you sitting down? You're ready for a great price. You can have this for $79.95. That's right. $79.95. Can you believe that price? As soon as we're done with the show, get on there, I'm me, and I'll, uh, we'll make arrangements to uh, have you send me a check or money order in care of Rob Scribner Foundation of the Poor. So, uh, but wait, there's more. Um, so I, I did a little digging, and I decided I'd let this go, because, you know, I'm, I'm a community player, and so uh, I thought it'd be only fair to share what I have. So I have three quarters of a, a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. And so it's pretty full, but it's not completely. And uh, so um, I decided to let this go for a pretty good price. You guys sitting down? $59.95. Yeah, $59.95 for a half a bottle of this stuff. You know, this stuff, the going rate for this stuff is, uh, you know, in the hundreds. Anyway, $59.95 for hydrogen peroxide. You're welcome. <laughs> no problem. But I dug a little more. I'm looking after you guys. You can count on me. So this was kind of a sacrifice. And uh, I, I kind of feel bad. I do have about six other bottles of this that are full, but I found one. This one's about a quarter of the way full, and it's uh, isopropyl alcohol. And uh, I know this is a rare find. I know it's like, Rob, would you get this stuff? <laughs> He's like, I'm here for you. You can count on me. Yeah, so $29.95. Can you believe that price? $29.95. And you can have this uh, plus shipping. You have to cover the shipping. $29.95 for isopropyl alcohol. This is 91%, by the way. Um, you can actually make shift this into hand sanitizer too, or, you know, adding some other stuff. But yeah, I got you covered, man. Now this one's full. This is a brand new, I haven't opened this yet. <clears throat> um, <laughs> are you guys prepared for this? I know you're gonna be shocked. You ready? Okay. You're sitting down, right? <laughs> yes. Let me get the labels right. Deinfecting, <laughs> disinfectant wipes, the Clorox kind. This is the good stuff. 
the best. You can't find this on the market today. I'm letting this go. I'm kind of, I'm getting kind of soft. I'm going to let this go for $49.95. $49.95. Come on. You know it's a deal. <laughs> you want it. Just the first one that contacts me, it's yours. Plus shipping. Got to add shipping to this. Clorox disinfecting wipes. It kills. I'm not killing you. It says it right on there. 99.9% of viruses and bacteria you hear that okay now guys I got one more item just one and I'm gonna let this go this is brand new um, it came out of a case but I'm uh, I'm gonna let it go you you sitting down you you ready for this cuz I'm here for you <laughs> that's right all right. Don't think I'm nuts for letting this go, but I am. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you buy this, and uh, it's a bargain. And I'm, I've reduced the price. Are you ready? Two ply toilet paper. That's right. Two ply. Big, big fluffy stuff. This is the good stuff. This is the stuff that you used to be able to get at Costco. I saved it. Yes. This whole roll will probably last you maybe a week. It's, it's a deal. Are you ready for this? Get your checkbooks ready. <laughs> I've got this. I got gotcha. you. $19.95 for this roll. That's right. $19.95. Can you believe that? I know. I know. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> I know I'm nuts. I know I'm crazy. I know 1995. Who would sell this stuff for 1995? I would because I care about you. So uh, guys, don't think we're not here for you. We are. So uh, get your checkbooks ready. I'm me after the show. We'll make you a deal. If you want to buy more than one, maybe I'll knock off 10%. But yeah, um, next week, maybe I'll have some more bargains for you. But nothing's going to beat the price of the 1995. This, this is a giveaway. I'm, I'm telling you. So there you go, guys. Easy Streets watching, watching out for you. Be that person. Be that responsible dog owner. Be the one they point at saying, hey, he picks up after his dog, and he uses Ranger Rob poopy bags. Available at Amazon with free shipping. Okay, guys, we are back. Don't forget to get your Ranger Rob poopy bags at Amazon. They're much more affordable than the things I was selling earlier. <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, I hope you know you guys that module before was for fun. So yeah, just make sure some people... <laughs> Take that stuff straight. But anyway, <clears throat> today's kind of interesting because something very special is happening to our household here and we're very excited and we have to wait a week. And so I'm going to give you a hint. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what it is. So uh, Sherry and I, uh, we have a cat and a dog and uh, uh, I have a picture on the screen. I'm right there. And so... Uh, We've been contemplating getting another dog. And uh, I've always wanted to, you know, Cinder's a chocolate lab. And I, I like purebreds, but it um, doesn't have to be. Our cat's a sheltered cat, but our dog was purebred. Anyway, we've been kind of watching. Uh, PetSmart has this uh, organization come in every Saturday and brings in uh, dogs that need a home. And we've checked out many times. Um, their animals and eh, just never seen the right one. We didn't want a gigantic dog. And I, I have an interest in German shepherds. <clears throat> so we are getting a little more serious. And so Saturday we go and uh, we start looking at the dogs and there's some little puppy over there in one of the cages that's only eight weeks old. And it happened to be a 
uh, German Shepherd they call cattle dog. Not purebred, but um, they're smaller. And uh, I'm going to reveal the picture to you. So are you holding on to your heart? <laughs> this dog is adorable. <laughs> so I'd like to introduce to you, we think her name is going to be Belle, our new puppy that's coming to our household in a week. Why didn't we get her right away? Well, she had to get a shot. She got microchipped and she's getting uh, spaded. She, it's a little girl. And uh, that's really nice. Now, <clears throat> don't think when you get shelter dogs, it's free. I mean, there's a cost. Some of them are like under $100, some are higher. We, we paid 300 but that includes all the shots, includes the microchip, and includes the getting her fixed. And, uh, you know, purebreds are a lot more than that. So it's well worth it. And the money goes to a great, you know, the profits they make from that goes to this really good organization. And so uh, we're pretty happy about that. And our biggest concern is, uh, you know, Cinder has never had another dog in a house, but, you know, she's getting to pushing eight years old and uh, she does good around other dogs. And I think it'd be great for her. She loves to play, loves to swim. And uh, having the puppy around is just going to keep her more active and keep us all active. But uh, is that is this picture not just adorable? So her name is Belle. Um, we think we might keep the name. We kind of like the name. I'd love to hear in your comments, does this look like a Belle? It's spelled B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Uh, anyway, so we're excited. In the future, uh, we're probably going to put a new playlist on Ranger Rob channel for Life with Belle or whatever name we give her, but I'm pretty sure we're going to stick with that name and uh, um, just have a channel of a playlist of just cute cuteness and to see how Cinder does as an adult um, being a mom for the first time because we had Cinder fixed right away, so she never had puppies. So it'd be kind of interesting. So we're quite excited. It's almost like Christmas. It's like, oh, we got to wait because uh, we're waiting for her appointment to the vet to get fixed. So uh, other than that, she could be with us right now. But um, those things are important. We can wait a week. So anyway, I'd love to hear your comments. What you think? Uh, also, if they, what you think of the name? And uh, let me know if you have more than one dog. Uh, we have a cat too, but she won't care. Anyway, uh, uh, you know, well, of course, we have to get permission from the cat for anything because she owns this house. But anyway, yeah, please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your com uh, comments about what you think about the puppy. Do you have more than one dog in your household? Uh, do you dis dis despise dogs? Um, and what names would you come up with this beautiful dog? So, uh, yeah, down below, leave your comments. All right, guys, we are back. And... Uh, I know you, you're trying to get over the, the puppy cuteness too, but you know, we got to be serious a little bit on the show, not totally, but you know, we got plenty of shows where we're always quite serious, but we do need to kind of go back to some of the things that are going on. Um, observations. Uh, we know that the uh, CB disease out there is uh, terrorizing us. And uh, I really feel sorry for Washington. I want to let you know I do have some uh, interesting interviews coming up. I actually uh, be prepared towards the end of the week or the first Monday. I have an interview with a registered traveling nurse. Um, and they're in California. And I got a feeling that's going to be one heck of a great interview. I'm not sure if we're going to use video or use audio with them just to, you know, not get them in trouble. But that's going to be a really interesting interview. So I'm looking forward to that. And I hope you're there to check them out. So uh, that'll be late this week or Monday morning. Uh, sheesh. Craziness going on out there. So Sherry and I, we talk about this all the time. And, you know, we're preppers. And we've actually been ahead of the game a little bit. Like, you know, we're teasing about the Perel and stuff. We actually bought like four weeks ago before all this went crazy on this Peral stuff, we actually bought a whole bunch of this because at Safeway they have these bottles for uh, 10 for 10 bucks, a dollar a piece. So we snagged up 10 and then we went back the next week and then they put the Peral uh, on 
sale for the same price so we bought up five of those and there was plenty there it was back this was before all the craziness so we're we're really stocked up good and we also um back then we had a hunch that it wouldn't hurt to build up on our paper products so we already did that this was well before all this craziness at a uh, costco and all that stuff and you know i guess the point i'm bringing out is some of the stuff you say well i feel kind of dumb i'm kind of like am i panicking for no reason and i don't think it's panic i think it's planning not panic um so uh if you can't get what you want out of like the toilet paper and stuff out of uh um, costco our safeway and stuff they're well stocked and they had stuff um just get a little you know a couple extra cases or at least a package of eight or 12 or whatever they come in and uh from you know you might pay a little bit more but it's better than playing that stupid game of lining up for, <laughs> for the toilet paper and uh, paper towels and stuff um but uh what's it gonna hurt to have some extra stuff if for some reason you don't need it all uh, and you're having a tight week you know when you go grocery shopping knowing that you have a lot of things in stock at the house already will save you on your bill so uh we're quite pleased that we jumped a gun a little bit on that but back when we we're doing it sherry and i both going are we being stupid here whatever and now i don't feel quite so stupid <laughs> so um and uh of course we're preppers we, we have well over probably closer to two months going on three months worth of food and prepping stuff uh in case we need to it's not that i'm afraid of the cv stuff it's because i'm afraid of the quarantines and uh um and uh it's really hard sure and i were talking about it's like well do you know when you look at statistics compared to like flu and all that stuff why are why are we acting like this why is the governments and countries acting like this yes it is a little bit steeper we don't know enough facts about it to be in quite this panicky when you look at the numbers against like flu and some of these other sicknesses and so uh is it just media making us overreact or is there more of course sure and i first thing we want to do is we don't want to be conspiracy kind of people but at the same time you go is there more to this than meets the eye? Because statistically, mathematically, this sh shouldn't cause what it's doing to all these countries compared to what we already have. Would you agree? I mean, think about it, the numbers. How many people have passed away from the flu and stuff? And it's a, and then this thing here has only been a fraction and that number that they have, which is like 4,000 now, is worldwide which is like nothing compared to this why are we acting this way why is media acting this way why is the countries preparing and and quarantining and 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 uh, locking up certain neighborhoods and stuff like that it's just a question i'd love you know pl please feel free to leave comments um but yeah I, the scariness is, is like um the, the lockdowns and quarantines how crazy will that get here i mean look at italy oh my gosh they, they did like a quarter of the population and then they, a few days later did the whole country and uh so that's why it's like guys buy when you go to costco next time because there's plenty buy a case of chili buy uh some uh, a whole bunch of cup of noodles um just in case you get stuck at the house. And by the way, uh, we also got powdered milk. Um, ask yourself the question, what would cause you to have to leave the house if you're quarantined? What can you do to minimize leaving the house? And that would be things like milk and eggs and stuff like that, right? So uh, I bought one of those uh, dried, um, I, don't, I got it right here, but uh, dried eggs and we buy a lot of powdered milk and by the way you got to watch when you buy that stuff because it expires it doesn't last that long so we literally went and bought jars the large quart jars and got our um, 
a vacuum uh, food saver, got the adapter and actually repackaged them into jars and then vacuum sealed them. Uh, that way the powdered milk would last longer. So, uh, um, yeah, it's just, um, it's the observation itself. The math doesn't fit. The math does not fit how we are reacting to this. Um, do you not agree? What are we missing? Or what aren't they telling us? Or, or maybe they're just telling us everything and we're still just overreacting. Is it just the media? I don't know. <clears throat> um, of course, you know, my age, I'm getting close to that six zero number. Uh, I probably have more to be scared about it than say you, anybody below that number. Um, and I, I, I don't have any secondary issues or, um, health issues and neither does my wife. So, you know, we probably would knock us down a lot more than a younger person, but I think we'd be just fine. Just like any other flu. So, uh, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. Is there something that we aren't seeing? Um, now, the panic in the stock markets. <clears throat> uh, of course, you know, the, the CV stuff's an uh, issue. But the CV, what, what it really did was hurt manufacturing, which, which in turn hurt inventory. And then what we're realizing as a country is we offloaded too much of our parts and manufacturing to other countries, not just China, but also Italy. It does a lot of our stuff too. So we haven't seen yet how that's going to affect us in our economy, because if they don't have parts, then they can't make what you make, which means in your factories, they're not going to let you just sit around and eat out of your lunchbox all day. They're going to send you home. They may lay you off. Um, it really could cause quite an issue with our economy. Um, it's just a fact. And, and we can't expect the companies to say, oh, I'll just send them home and pay them anyway. Why would they do that? If there's, Would you do that with a babysitter or someone that's working in your yard or your pool person? It's like, if they're not working for you anymore, do you want to pay them anymore? Well, why would they want to pay you? So, uh, I know it's heartless, but that's the truth. So, uh, yeah, it's concerning and, um, but I'm confused. Are, are you confused? Are you uh, finding these numbers not correlating, not working? It's mathematically, there's no reason to be acting the way we're acting. So, um, I mean, if they made the same charts that you're seeing or monitoring on the internet as they did for like the flu and some of the other stuff, then you'd panic about those. <laughs> you don't want to see those because it's the worst numbers. So I don't know. It's uh, it's pretty pretty crazy, and uh, the stock market is not really realistic to what's really going on. And so, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'd love to hear your opinion. Stop! Do you own a dog? Are you frustrated with your dog's waste bags? Then try out Ranger Rob Poopy Bags today. Our bags are whiter, they are deeper, they have handles and are lemon scented. Our five star rated dog bags are strong and leak proof. Visit RangerRobPoopyBags.com. We're available on Amazon and you'll love our product. Once again, we are back and uh, staying with the subject we were just talking about before. Um, have you found yourself starting to second guess all the things that you're doing now? Uh, for example, yes, it's terrible, bad, bad Robin Sherry, but we like to go to the casino every once in a while when we have a little spare money to play with. And uh, uh, now we're kind of like, well, that's a German fested thing. Do we really want to go there, especially at our age? And, uh, you know, of course, in the back of my mind going, hey, look at the bright side, look at the money you're saving. <laughs> so, but at the same time, uh, well, I don't really want to go out to dinner. Um, and then the places I do go is, are they separated enough where you're not sitting too close to people? How's the ventilation? Are you starting to do that? <laughs> And of course, uh, you know, the hand sanitizer stuff, um, 
constantly putting this stuff in my hands, um, which I'm doing as we're speaking. And uh, uh, luckily, I don't have to share my computer or anything with anybody. Um, and so my keyboards are my germs and my germs only. And uh, I don't know. I, and then uh, even your pets, are you kind of like, no, well, you're making sure your pets aren't getting exposed to anything they shouldn't that could pass it on to the family because there's possibilities. They say possibilities that it could pass through animals that wouldn't even affect them, but they could pass it on or pick it up and then scatter it in the house. Uh, are you cleaning your dog's paws more or something? Um, are you uh, cleaning more? Are you using hand sanitizer more, even in the house, washing your hands more? Um, have you bought some Lysol? <laughs> Are you starting to burn? Um, that's amazing stuff. Um, anyway, uh, are, you, are, you, are you changing your life already? Is it for the better in some cases or for the worse? Do you not like thinking like this? Because, you know, the body is also designed to be exposed to stuff and that's what makes our immune system stronger so are we being babies <laughs> overreactive once again i love to hear your opinion on that kind of stuff too um i do have to kind of wrap up the show here but i do want to remind you once again i know uh, you, we send our little commercials in there but please take the time to uh uh, maybe go to Amazon, pick up some of our dog waste bags. We'd appreciate it. Uh, under the Ranger Rob brand up on Amazon, you'll find we also have some hats and things like that. You can also get the uh, new Easy Street hats, which mine's coming. Uh, I'll have it probably in the next show. And uh, uh, trust me, they're even more affordable than the things I tried to say at the beginning of the show. <laughs> um, anyway, that stuff helps us. It helps us pay for all this. Uh, radio stations are not cheap. Uh, uh, music licenses are not cheap, and and uh, even software we, we some of it we lease and stuff like that. So uh, anyway, uh, anytime you you know go to Good Talk Radio, maybe uh, just give us a donation or something. It just helps. Trust me, we are still donating, and that's okay. Um, but with your help, it takes the pain away a little bit more. And if times get tough, and maybe there's quarantines and stuff like that, our income will be affected and so uh um anytime that you could help us we'd appreciate it so but the range around poopy bags are not only a great product um uh, they're affordable and they make great gifts if you have family um want some uh, that uses dog bags once you get those for them they'll love it and just tell them where you got them and then <laughs> it'll help us so anyway guys thank you for listening to the show i'm glad we had a little fun in this show uh, please take the time to like and share and subscribe to our channel or uh, listen to our audio version on Good Talk Radio. Uh, we love you all and um, we'll keep pumping out our shows. Look down in the description, please, and find out all the different places you can find us and also all the different links to some of our products. That helps the channel and will help you because they're products that are good products. And uh, that's how we roll. <laughs> so... I'm Ranger Rob. I want to thank you very much for watching and thank you for very much for listening. Be safe, be smart, prep a little and get ahead of the game. And it's not about panic. It's about planning. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.